Hey friends and welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing just a normal homemaking vlog with y'all. I love to share that here on my channel. I'm just showing you what life looks like here in upstate South Carolina where we live. Um, we're just here. We live on five acres and we're just raising babies and we have chickens and we have um, some bunny rabbits and dogs. And I just love to share our life here in upstate South Carolina with y'all and what life looks like here for us. And I just know it's different in all parts and it's just interesting to see people from all over. So today in today's video, I'm just going to share with you just a normal homemaking day. I'm going to um, show you what we're cooking for dinner and show you what we're getting into. And I'm actually going to be starting another sourdough starter. I haven't had one of those in probably about three years or so. Um, I decided to make another one because we kind of missed the sourdough loaves and I used to make sourdough waffles. So I'm going to get back into some of that stuff and I'm just going to show you how I do it along the way. Um, even if it doesn't turn out perfect, <laughs> y'all are here for it and I'm going to show it to you and I'm glad that you're here. But I'm glad that you're here and I would love if you would stick around and hit that subscribe button for more content like this. It is a Thursday evening. I've got dinner here in the crock pot that is almost done. I just need to shred the chicken. I will show y'all what I cook for dinner tonight. It's taco soup. It's so good. Emily has her first volleyball game of the season tonight. It's such a cool and rainy evening that it's like the perfect time for soup. I love soup weather. All right, so now I'm gonna take the lid off here. Just, instead of putting, the, I usually put this in my KitchenAid and shred it, but I'm just gonna shred it with my little chopper here. All right, so the chicken is all chopped up in there and the soup is done. Now we'll just put this into the bowls. Um, we all like, sometimes I'll do cornbread with it, but we all like tortilla chips with it. So we'll just eat this with tortilla chips tonight. Um, some shredded cheese on top and sour cream for whoever wants it. So I told y'all, um, I think it was the last vlog or the first vlog from Tennessee that we went into the lodge store, which was my favorite store. It was awesome in there. And y'all know I have a lot of cast iron pieces. Well, when I went in there, they have, it's a new line, I think they said it's been out for a year, USA made um, enamel coated cast iron. And I love those pieces. I love the Dutch ovens, the frying pans, everything. So I got two pieces while I was in there. They were having a sale. It was only going to last to the 16th. I think you can get the same sale on their website, 25% off. Um, so I'm going to show you the two pieces that I picked out. I love it so much. And I love that it's USA made made right there in Tennessee. I didn't even know, I knew it was USA made, but I didn't know it was actually like in Tennessee. Um, I'm gonna show you the two pieces that I picked out. So this is the frying pan that I have. Um, it is beautiful. They had it in what, in the store, they only had it in white, but online you can get it in white, gray, or blue. The blue is beautiful. And I think I probably, I was between the blue and the white. But yeah, it's between the white or the blue. Um, I've already used this. I used it for my eggs this morning. USA enamel. Then the second one that I got is up here on my shelf. And I went with the same color. White is called Cloud Nine. Um, but like I said, they have it the gray, the blue, or the white. And it, I got the, they have a seven and a half quart, which is bigger than this one, but I got the six quart because I thought it would be plenty big enough. It's just, it's beautiful. I loved it adding this to my pieces that I already have. But like I said, I don't have any that's USA made. The other ones that I have um, are, are the Lodge brand, but they're not made here in the United States. And, and, this, and, this and the girls have a little teddy classroom going on over here. They're having class today. <laughs> it's such a rainy, cool evening. Oh my gosh, I just love this weather. Not so much the rain, but it does make it go a little cozier. Josh is down there, I don't know if you can see him or not, but he is, um, clearing that he's got to do like a big brush pile and, and burn all of that off of there um, so he's got a big fire going out there which is perfect right now because it's been so dry that he was able to light it but there's a steady rain to kind of keep it down so he is doing that right now um, we're gonna eat dinner here soon and get ready to take Emily to her volleyball game
right, y'all. Dinner was so good. The taco soup was delicious. Got everything cleaned up. All the dishes are done. The dining room's clean. So now I'm going to light this candle. Kylie actually went to Tractor Supply this morning. Um, and while she was in there, she got this for me. She thought about me. I thought that was so sweet because she knows how much I love my cast iron stuff. And this little candle comes in a cast iron scale. It's kind of dark in the kitchen now since I turned the lights out. But it's just so cute. So I just keep it right here on my stove top lit and it smells so good i can't remember the scent because i took the paper off but it's amazing i mean it smells absolutely amazing it has a really good throw like you can smell it all through the house So it's 9 p.m. now. We just got home from Emily's volleyball game. It's a little cool out here. It's a little cool. I even put my sweatshirt on tonight. Emily did really good. Her team didn't win, but they did a great job tonight. Great job. So we have another one tomorrow night. Um, this little man fell asleep about five minutes into it and slept the whole time. He just woke up. So hopefully I can get him changed and back to sleep for the night. Hopefully. We'll see. It's so, it's so windy out here. It's making it even cooler outside. All right, y'all, so it's the next day. I've got my afternoon iced coffee here, and I have been thinking about making another sourdough starter. Um, I had one two or three years ago, I think. Um, I did pretty good, but I ended up letting it die. We went on vacation, and it died while we were on vacation. This is the only little glass jar that I could find. I've had it for a long time. It says thankful and lit. It's super cute, um, but it's not that big. So once it starts growing, I will like, I'll transfer it to something bigger. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started. If you're not familiar with sourdough, you can do lots of baking with it. You can do bread, you can do pancakes, waffles, um, whatever. So I'm gonna start, thankfully I already had some unbleached flour on hand, so I didn't have to run the store to get anything. I am just using, you can use like fresh milk flour and I probably would do that, but I have to go all the way back to basement storage to fill my jar up because I'm all out of my berries. Um, so I'm just gonna use this King Arthur, so what I already have in the pantry, unbleached all purpose flour. I'm gonna go in with a cup of flour first. I couldn't find my actual cup, so I'm using the half a cup one here. Now I'm gonna go in with a cup of water, just like I had the cup of flour, and then I'm gonna stir it really good. And it needs to be like filtered water, so I'm just gonna use water on my fridge for in there. There we go, now I just need to stir it really, really good, and then scrape down the sides. And then we will just do this um, every day, I think it's seven days, you, um, you discard half of it, and then we'll add in a cup of water, cup of flour, stir it, next day discard half, cup of water, cup of flour. We'll do that until we start noticing bubbles and it doubling in size, and then you don't have to do it quite as much. But anyway, we'll just see how it goes from here. I'm gonna get it started today. There we go, and I'm just gonna loosely let the lid sit there. Leave it on the counter. All right, y'all, so it is now dinner time and I am doing spaghetti tonight. I feel like we haven't made spaghetti in forever. So I'm getting some bell peppers, onions ready to go in the pan. I'm going to um, saute those a little bit. And then last, I will add in my, um, my spaghetti sauce. Kylie and Holly are actually eating with a friend tonight. So they're not eating dinner with us. So, and, not, and little kids don't really like bell peppers. So I think one's going to be plenty for us. And y'all, I'm so excited because I get to use my new olive oil little dispenser, whatever you call this. Ooh, I'm dripping some. Um, I also got this at the Lodge store. They have some things like this. I got one. So I'm going to put some in the pan and get it heating up for the bell peppers and the onions. I need a paper towel or something. My dad, my towel. That's your towel? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I get it out of bath. Can I borrow it? Thanks. This is making me feel real fancy, y'all. Mm -hmm. Real fancy. Millie. Millie, I'm feeling real fancy right now. You know that? And it's cute too. I mean, it's just so cute. All right, let me grab my onion and start chopping it up while the pan's heating up. Josh took Jackson outside on the porch. He has got to where y'all, that boy loves the outdoors, loves it. 
And he's so smart because if he wants to be outside when you when you step inside, like as soon as you step in, he'll start crying. If you step outside, he stops crying. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. There's something about the smell of onion and garlic cooking at dinner time that just makes it feel so homey. I don't know what it is about onion and garlic, but those two together just makes it feel like home. I'm going to thirsty. I'm going to drink some of my water. Um, I need some. You need some water? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Mila needs some water. Let me grab her some water. Me? Yeah, you thirsty? Okay. Here we go. Here's some water. What do you say? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Forget it. And she goes, Mom, you got something like this. Oh, she goes, Mom, no, no, no. She goes, Hi, I'm back. up with dinner got some leftovers i'm about to put those away but i had a little one more order i wanted to show y'all um this is one of my favorite soaps especially when it becomes like these fall and winter months and your skin's really dry i love the dove shea butter normally we use the dove what is it Gen gentle exfoliating or something like that um but the shea butter is really good i like it in either the body wash or the bars of soap so i picked up some of this but i got josh separate soap because he doesn't like he likes pretty plain stuff like men's dove or just a plain bar of soap. He doesn't like all the shea butter and things like the girls and I like. So I got us some of this. All right. So I've got the spaghetti put up. Got the skillet cleaned out for breakfast in the morning. That was really easy just to wash and get ready. Um, but I want to show you what I added to my spaghetti tonight. I added in this garlic powder. And then um, I didn't add this in, but I want to show y'all have it too. I have onion powder. Um, my cousin Alicia actually made these and gave them to me. Um, it's just freeze dried garlic powder, uh, freeze dried onion powder. She gave me something else. I can't remember what it was though. But anyway, I want to let y'all know she started a YouTube channel. I think about two or three weeks ago, she started up a YouTube channel. So y'all go check her out. It's called Magaha Family Vlogs. I will link her channel down below in the description box. Y'all go check her out. Go over there. Tell her I sent you over there. Show her some love. Subscribe to her channel. Um, I've been telling her she needs to do a video of how she freeze dries, freeze dries all of this stuff. Because I know that a lot of you that watch me probably have a freeze dryer. And it would just be neat to see how she makes her stuff because it's so good. I've been using this. You can tell how much of my garlic powder I've already used a good bit of it. Um, I use it on my spaghetti. I even use it in my broccoli. I use it on all kinds of stuff. And it just gives it so much flavor and a little bit goes a long way. But anyway, everything's all cleaned up now. I think we're going to start a Friday night movie here soon. Uh, I hope that y'all enjoyed this homemaking vlog from the upstate of South Carolina. Um, I thank y'all for watching and hanging out with us. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button before you leave today. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. And as always, I'll talk to you in the comments. Bye, friends.